Hello, Pisces. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val 3 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Okay, fascinating. Um, very, very fascinating. Very fascinating. Um, right away, I will say this, Pisces, your energy, you're showing up in this Empress energy of being very loving, giving, very nurturing. Um, I do got to say, though, I'm a little curious as to what is going on, because you are showing me that there are two different types of connections here, and you possibly are dealing with two different people. Um at the same time, you're also looking at them both sideways. So jumping into this though, right away, which is showing me there is some sort of financial abundance coming in that is definitely help kind of secure things regarding work, finances, foundation, as well as your career. I do see that overall, you are definitely thinking about how to work on things and create more ideas and more plans for yourself. And there is some type of financial opportunity opening up. Very nice. Now, whatever this is though, immediately you're showing me you're emotionally walking away from something or for someone. I don't exactly know what this is about, but you're showing me that, well, you're walking away emotionally from one person and it almost seems like you're walking to someone else or possibly just walking away for yourself. There's new love here. At the same time, you're showing me that there's so much conflict, so much battling of oneself regarding some type of connection between you and someone. I don't exactly know what's going on, but whatever this connection or new love is between you and them is definitely creating quite a burden and pressure for you. At the same time, you're having some type of breakthrough or realization here, I feel like, about all connections, well, between you and them, because there also is some type of commitment, if not marriage or relationship, in place. Okay, Pisces, a little bit of a juggle. Um, it's kind of an energy of, are you giving, giving, giving to more than one person and having to kind of like sort through this relationship, that connection, this friendship, that friendship, what's going on here? Uh, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. Let's see. I mean, unless these two people are looking at you sideways, like, it could be roles could be reversed. Hmm. Insert a fourth energy. Goodness. Goodness. A lot of people showing up today. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of communication I feel like considered between you and someone. Um, at the same time, though... At the same time, there's there's definitely communic like very very fast quick communication between you and them. <laughs> I 
and I mean fast, fast with that eight of wands. Um, geez, 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 communication after communication. And it's like, oh, here we go. Things are beginning to ramp up. Um, <laughs> geez. There's a lot, yeah, there's definitely a lot to sit there with and reflect on, Pisces. There is. It's like, oh, buckle up, buckle up. Hopefully this isn't like one of those, what's it called? Roller coasters of love or something. But if it is, it is. I mean, let's see. Insert a fifth energy. Like I said, goodness. Whew. The party showed up today and everyone's got their two cents to throw into the bucket. Actually, no, it's 25 bucks to get in the door. Goodness. Hmm. There's something here or possibly someone that is refusing to let something go. They're showing up sharp and clear, but they're refusing to let something go. We'll play the someone game. Someone else is probably possibly trying to use sex magic or lust temptation to try and get something to switch or change. We can go down the lineup. That's fine. <laughs> but you know you got to choose, Pisces. You have to choose. You're juggling. You're juggling. Yeah. It's like, hmm. It's actually regarding commitment. You're trying to figure out who are you fully 100% emotionally and mentally on board with. Reminds me of the movie The Notebook. Ooh, whatever this fun, there you are on top of the deck, not saying one thing. Um, <laughs> whatever this financial opportunity is, I feel like it is some type of passionate new beginning with someone from the past. At the same time, you're also showing me like, mm. who play a player? Who's the player? Someone's a player. Someone's playing someone. That's fascinating. It's like, okay, now I'm off. Now I'm off to run to someone else. It's like Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What are you doing? Yeah, this is definitely back and forthness between a lot of people here. Ooh. I will say though, whatever this new love is, there's complete happiness and fulfillment there as possibly as well as a living situation between the two of you. So um, there's clearly someone here you are living with and I don't know what else is going on with everyone else. Um, but again, it's like, it's kind of like saying, what is allowing all of this energy to take place all at once? Um, with this many people, where, where are the boundaries? Because again, there's still that internal conflict between you and connections. And so something's like, let me know that there is a tad bit of resistance. Like, yeah, very, very happy, but... Then there is the kind of like that emotional wandering. Even though you're showing me it could be for financial reasons. Oh, geez. You're fighting yourself to be done with something or be done with someone. But at the same time, you're kind of like, 
Um, it's like you're you're waiting. It's like, um, do I close that door for good and wait for someone else? It's, it's the, the monkey branch. Swinging from one relationship to the next relationship. It's like, okay, I'm going to close this one door and then bounce over to this one. Don't know what is going on. The bounce. It's the bounce. Yeah, and even you're like, but this connection between me and them. You're spinning your wheels, Pisces. You're spinning in circles. And you're trying to, like, straighten things out, um, but you just don't know. You're trying to get some type of connection here to move forward. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, <sighs> You got a lot to take care of, and I feel like a lot of eyes and a lot of attention are is on you. Um, and this is beginning to stress you out. It's pressure, 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 pressure. But it's kind of like saying, don't go to the zoo. Look at all the animals and go, look at me. And then when everyone turns around to look at you, it's like, oh, oh, crap. Because they will turn around, they look, and they will approach the glass, and they will be up there in your face. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, the truth. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. I get it, Pisces. But the truth is necessary to open your eyes. It's going to hurt. Most of what you're saying is like, mm, all these people, all these emotions, all these things. It's like, yeah, it, it does hurt. It does. At the same time, it's like, you have to protect your energy. You have to protect yourself. You have to use discernment of who you give your time, energy, resources, and most importantly, your love to. You're, yeah, you're showing me that whatever this commitment, relationship, or marriage is, there's problems. There definitely are problems. Um, all of them to count. I feel like it's almost like too many people, too many people, too many people. But what's fascinating is whether you're going to walk away from this or not, even though you're showing me that there is so much love here, whatever these problems are, it's almost like Pisces... It's fated or destined. And there's the boundaries on top of the deck that I was just talking about. I tell Leo that all the time. And there's the wall, the guard up. You got to protect what is yours and who is yours. Um, but as I was saying, problems come and go in life, Pisces. You're meant to face them and deal with them. It's not an energy of bounce to bounce to bounce to bounce to person to person to person to scenario, 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 scenario or anything like that. I mean, you can, if, you know, if you want, but that's just going to create more of a mess and more of a chaos for you to have to kind of clean up later. And it's sort of like saying, if you don't deal with it all now, it's going to come back around and bite you. And one of those zoo animals might not be in their cage still. So if you are dealing with anyone, which you clearly are dealing with quite a bit of people here, Pisces, what do you have shown up? Leo. Gemini, Cancer, Virgo. And that is all. Goodbye.